Article 26. Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $91,000 for the purchase of a trash ejection trailer required for over the highway transportation and disposal of solid wastes and recycling collected at the transfer station. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7 Roman 6 and shall not lapse until this project is completed or by March 31st, 2020, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen, five to zero. Recommended by the Municipal Budget Committee, eight to zero. Fiscal impact provided by the Finance Department. The estimated 2019 tax impact on $91,000 is 2.7 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 26? Mr. Griffin, seconded by Ms. I'm sorry, by, by Ms. Barnes. For the record, Chris Jacobs, Director of Public Works. Um, reasons for uh, needing a sixth uh, refuse trailer. Back in June of 2011, um, was when we started with the uh, town forces actually collecting uh, curbside all of your refuse and recycling. At this time, we received uh, three sidearm packer trucks and we received six of these heavy duty uh, trash trailers for transporting trash and recycling. What we've seen is a growth in the amount of trash overall that we uh, have to pick up. And during the uh, summer months, or for those that are not aware, we do pick up trash Memorial Day weekend, July 4th weekend, and um, Labor Day weekend, the big holidays. When we have those big holidays, for instance, July 4th weekend, um, we can receive upwards in those two days uh, up to 400 tons of trash. Each one of these trailers only hold, legally by law, uh, about 21 and a half tons. That's about how much we can load into them. So the problem that we have on those big weekends, or the big July 4th week, is actually the ability to turn the trailers over. Uh, the landfill in uh, Rochester, where this material goes to, is closed on a Sunday. So when we're open at the transfer station, we're basically holding the refuse and it can't really be shipped out until possibly Monday. I say possibly Monday because if Monday happens to be a holiday, um, depending on what years the schedule falls, uh, we could actually be in a situation of needing to hold back or hold, contain this refuse for a period of up to two days. Um, what's happened over the last couple of years is when we've run into the situation that we have a lot of extra refuse and uh, the recycling's up and we need more container space for refuse, we've actually been taking your recyclables out into the backyard and literally emptying the trailer on the ground. It is not the preferred method of operation because uh, short term it can attract mice, rats, allows uh, the seagulls to turn over the recycling portion. Um, also, it's double the work for the staff because we end up handling everything twice. Um, and it, it's just problematic. We end up crushing the, some of the glass. It's, uh, it'll, it'll, in some instances, it takes two or three days and multiple crews to actually clean up the mess. So we've been emptying trailers to then recycling trailers to then refill them with trash um, that comes from all the visitors that we that we get here. Um, so all the good growth that we've enjoyed, all the, um, the fact that we are a five-star beach, we are a destination, um, this is one of those resultant uh, impacts. So we reached out to um, a number of vendors and the, the trailer that meets our specifications and matches to the compactors that we have lump sum $91,000 and was elected to do it at a one-time purchase. 
And I would say the life expectancy in a trailer like this, we've already had them now, we'll be entering our ninth year, so we're easily gonna get 15 to 20 years out of these trailers. The real issue with the trailers is um, the bottoms wear out. Um, recycling is abrasive. Cardboard is abrasive. Cardboard combined with glass is really abrasive. And I wouldn't be surprised that uh, the trailers in the future are gonna need uh, new floors welded into the bottoms just to keep them on the road. But as a, as a structural element, as a um, piece of equipment, we do get many, many years out of them. And again, this would just be an investment um, into the in infrastructure to allow us to properly manage uh, the waste that comes our way. Thank you. Is there further discussion on Article 26? Seeing none.